Hello everybody, happy new moon in Gemini. So I wanted to do a a quick reading for the moon in Gemini. If I did a collective, then the elements will get through that. So the new moon in Gemini, basically as the as it says here, communication is key. Okay. Six of wands rods in this deck, and I've got some gemstones here. So I'm looking at this as a collective energy as well. There is a tower here, a um, lot of creativity, and there are some things that we may have to separate from, um, some work to be done. Um, this is also growth and money coming through, but we do have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is definitely indicating success, victory, and luck on our side, so it's pretty good energy. Um, this can bring on a little bit of a confusion, too, when we're dealing with um, Gemini, too, because sometimes we are multitasking a lot, too. Um, it could be a tiring time, too, trying to get some ideas together. It requires a lot of concentration, patience, and we're seeing that in the stone, too. So it requires a lot of patience. You have to be strongly mo motivated, but then there's this sense of trying to work together with others and just say you're more motivated than another too. So it's trying to get um, kind of teamwork going, but there could be some frictions with others as well. So it's like you're, you, we all could be determined to do things our own way too. So it's going to be an emphasis on team effort. <laughs> um, also being flexible. Okay, it's like learning the tricks and trades, um, picking up some information quickly. We do have the tower. There could be some really some changes here in, in the way we work as well. So it's like saying OK to bringing on a new type of system, a new way of doing things too. Uh protocols, procedures come through this, too. But I also see that we need to dig a little bit of patience, patience with situations and others, and playing by the rules more often than not. So it's like trying to stay at task at one thing at a time. Now, there is an, a good underlining energy here. It is the six of wands. So we are looking at... Um, a new start is coming. Um, there is like a sunny new beginning. Okay, so there is the birth of something new. Um, adjustments in some opinions and some of our thoughts. There is some kind of, it's a sense of entertainment, um, enjoyment. And also this can be um, outings, going out, um, very social energies coming through here too. And caring for the things that we want to create and and others that's coming through too, which can bring us a lot of rewards. There is something here that we do need to release, even though it is a new moon. It does tell us that we do need to release something. And what is it that we need to separate from? There can be a sense of separation, okay, temporary, sep uh, temporary separating from a person or a situation while we are working on something as, else as well, which brings even some... Um, a lot of support here. So it's it's coming together and a sense of what needs to be released. Okay, I think that's the best way I can explain um, these stones that came through. Now, when we're looking over here, this is um, basically for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The Queen of Cups came through. Communication, learning. Okay, this is really good energy here too. There is a sense of... With the Queen of Cups, this is good. It's a focus on you. Um, it There is um, a personal issue that may come and reaches some kind of resolution, all right? Your intuition is very important. Caring, um, love may be coming through here too or doing something that you love too. There is a sense of maybe insecurities or a little bit of uh, low self-esteem, but a wish could be coming through too. This is, this could, this is very indicative of a wish fulfillment because when we, when I'm crossing in here, even though this is fire and that there is some kind of wish fulfillment. Remember, we're looking at this as well. So there is 
going to be more clarity, your intuition. Um, something is um, rebirthing here, too. This is very passionate energy, sunny energy coming through. I'm putting some hurts and pains behind it. Sometimes it is dealing with our own insecurities as well. But I feel a personal issue reaches some kind of resolution as well. Okay, so when we move along now to the fire signs, you have the high priestess. And the fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Very interesting energy here. Very interesting. This is wisdom, intuition, but maybe we're dealing with some kind of delays too. Um, there is a sense of just knowing. V very interesting. Um, there is a cycle here that needs to be closed up, okay? Um, spiritually connecting to this is extremely spiritual stone. There's a sense of evolution. What I feel here with all the connections too, for the fire signs, um, there is a win-win outcome somehow coming through with whatever's been going on and something's about to complete here. For a lot of you, this could be love coming through, deeper um, conversations, um, commitments, moving in with someone, making some kind of commitments to yourself or with um, with a partner. There is maybe some kind of a delay, maybe towards the end of the year or something um, may come to fruition with this. For a lot of you, maybe dealing with a water sign, a cancer too, or a Pisces, Scorpio, but that's the feeling I'm getting here. There is something here that needs to be dealt with and it comes to some kind of a win-win outcome, okay? Now, water signs, which are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have the Knight of Cups. Beautiful card. This is your wish stone fortune. So some wishes um, may be fulfilled. Blessings coming in from the universe. We do see rewards money coming through too. But we do see this stone. This is like a tower stone as well, but it's more earthy. Um, and this is information coming in and great ideas. There is some adjustments that are required too. Okay, uh, making some kind of, uh, uh, excuse me, adjustments. Ooh, I almost stuttered there. What I feel here is a karmic cycle may be ending, okay, because there is something that you need to start moving away from, moving forward, um, what you've been kind of holding back on and procrastinating. Know that with this tower here, that some things that are delayed, there's a reason for it. There's It's a blessing in disguise. Delays, things like that could be in your favor. Okay, there your intuition is very strong too. But there are things that need to be adjusted. Okay, and you'll just know. Okay, that's going to bring in, yeah, adjustments. But this is wish fulfillment. This is me closing up some kind of... um a cycle or a karmic cycle and bringing in some blessings. I almost feel like there's a connection to also a Gemini here energy or coming up now into Gemini and Cancer season as well. So that's what showed up for the water signs. Like that. It does indicate love to offers coming through. When we're looking here for the earth signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You have the Page of Pentacles. There is some money coming through here too. Some adjustments family are coming through. There is a negative cycle here, something that needs to be released. For Earth signs, it, this is a time to release negativity. If you already have not, see, it's trying. it wants to leave. Okay, it is time to release some negativity. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Um, that could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a um, Leo, or exhibits those signs. So I do see that energy. There's a sense of passion. Again, something internally that maybe kind of boils your blood, is I'm feeling too, but you definitely have to get um, rid of some negativity. Because I do see, this also indicates good news when we collectively look at this and apply it to the earth signs. There should be some good news arriving. There's going to be some reasons to celebrate. There's a sense of purification. It's time to purify some things. And, you know, there is a sense of thinking of the future, but being more realistic. There is a sense of delusion sometimes, or um, I want to say fantasizing. 
it's asking you to create more of a realistic approach and letting go of some negativity. This is also a news, an offer payment business focus too. Okay, well, that is what showed up in totally for the new moon in Gemini. As noted, communication is also key. Happy new moon and bye for now.